Hey everybody, it's Patrick O'Malley again with The Laceration Course. So we're going to do a quick video on a figure of eight stitch. So this is a very helpful stitch if you've got a bleeding varicose vein. I've seen patients who've come in after uh, having a heart catheterization and they've got a small puncture wound uh, down in their groin uh, that just continues to ooze. Patients who are on anticoagulants sometimes just need a, you know, they've got, for whatever reason, they've got something that's bleeding. It may be a small, uh, very superficial laceration or abrasion, uh, but you need to be able to tamponade that bleeding off. You need to be able to shut it down and get the patient on their way. So a figure of eight stitch, um, the, the name implies it's a figure of eight. So it looks like the number eight. So essentially what you're doing is you're taking this, uh, your suture, putting it in here, coming out here, and then you go across and then reintroduce the needle back through and then you tie it off. So we'll see it in a second. It actually looks like an eight. So um, my main reason for wanting to do this is I recently saw a patient who got sent by their primary care physician over to the emergency department because of a bleeding varicosity. It's in one of the previous videos. And I think that this is just something that's so simple, everybody needs to be able to do something like this in the office um, to avoid unnecessary trips to the ER and unnecessary medical costs. So let's get started. So you're taking your needle driver, you're holding the needle, and you simply introduce through the tissue. You can use your tissue forceps if you need to, probably don't need to in real life. Okay, so you bring through. And in that video, if you watch it, you can see that I actually pulled a little bit too much and pulled the suture through. So that's something that happens on occasion. You know, you get in a hurry and your suture thread goes all the way through and you have to start over. So just one of those annoyances of, of uh, practice. Get a little bit better handle on the needle. Okay. And then we're going to put this one through right here. Again, using our tissue forceps to grab the needle oh, or the needle driver and pull it through. All right, so what you're going to see here is coming across, going diagonal, coming across, and then we're going to tie. So we do our instrument tie. All right, see how that squares up? All right, we've basically got an X. So it's your figure of eight. So we're gonna put a little bit of tension on that. And then we want to another and pull it snug. Again, with these, uh, you know, silicone kits, uh, it's not quite the same as tissue. Um, so the, uh, the, the knots may not be able to maintain that, uh, that tension across but you can see right here how that does bring the edges together provides a little bit of tension on real tissue you can bring that down a little bit tighter and really close that off and uh, and stop the bleeding from a little varicose vein or a puncture wound or abrasion so that's the figure of eight stitch very helpful easy to do you don't even have to use a laceration kit you can use a suture removal kit that has uh, the uh, the tissue forceps you can use that to hold the needle and introduce it through the tissue. And then um, most of the suture removal kits have to have a, uh, a set of, or a pair of scissors in there. So um, you don't have to open up a more expensive laceration kit. You can just do it with a suture removal kit. That's it. Thanks everyone.